What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Back with the next two beers from the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp Across the World series. And I do believe they're trying to send me a bit of a message. They they pulled the link to the, the Beer Camp website off of the, the links page on the Sierra Nevada website. So uh, I think that's my way of saying I should probably hurry up and get through the last, the second half of this uh, set of beers. But um, I did find the page, so I was able to find notes. And so we will get started with the next beer in the series, which is a collaboration with St. Arnold Brewing Company in Houston, Texas. This is the Dry Hopped Berliner Style Weiss. And here's what Sierra Nevada has to say about this beer. We wanted to make a beer that was a bit outside of both breweries' normal wheelhouses. So together we chose to create a twist on the classic tart Berliner Weiss. We're playing off the slightly sour twang of the base beer by adding heaps of dry hopped flavor to complement the tartness with citrusy and fruit forward hop notes. The primary yeast strain is Sierra Nevada's famous Keller Weiss wheat beer yeast, which imparts notes of banana and clove, blending seamlessly with the hops that create a dry flavor that is as crisp and refreshing as anything we've tried. 4.2% ABV, 10 IBU. Uh, as they mentioned, they use uh, their Keller Weiss Hefe Hefeweizen yeast, the uh, the yeast they used in their Keller Weiss summer beer. Hops used are Saz and Amarillo malts, two row pale wheat and Munich malts. So let's check out this beer. A whole lot of carbonation is evident as is uh, fairly typical in Berliner Weisses, I believe. Uh, typically pretty well see-through. A uh, nice kind of pale gold, pale yellow color. Uh, hold up to the light and kind of on the edges. Gets into a little bit of a, like a, a weak lemonade, I would say. I think if it were a little more, um, a little more cloudy, I could uh, maybe attribute it better to like a lemonade kind of a color. Again, especially on the highlights, it's a little bit more pushing towards gold in the middle. But um but again, very pretty well see-through. I can see my fingers uh, very well on the opposite side of the glass with just maybe a very slight amount of occlusion. Uh, and that head's almost gone despite all the carbonation that came through during the pour. That head is uh, essentially just a very thin layer on top of the beer with a maybe a quarter finger ring on the edges. All right, let's check it out. It is quite tart, though. It took a uh, maybe a minute or so to uh, to get there, but uh, once it did, it really kind of uh, took over uh, all of my all of my taste senses. So I need to definitely jump in for another sip. Try to try to pick some things up. Hmm. Yeah, so it's not super sweet. It kind of has a, a little bit of a white wine uh, flavor to it, which, again, is not necessarily unusual for the Berliner Weiss style. I'm maybe getting just a little bit of the, what I'm guessing is the hoppiness, kind of midway through the, through the beer. Um, it's not overly descript. I just kind of can I, I identify something that uh, is trying to push that tartness out of the way, though I would say it's failing. To me, uh, it is still quite tart. Plenty of citrus. Maybe, if anything, the there almost wants to be a, a, a bit of a sweetness to it that maybe the hops is cutting down. Um, Berliner Weisses are not, of course, overly sweet, but... Um, it seems like there's maybe just a hair of sweetness that's trying to push through. Maybe that's a, a combination of the, the hop notes and the standard Berliner Weiss style uh, kind of coming together. But again, not, not quite sweet. Um, not really any bitterness. It's really just a lot of tart. But yeah, super dry, super refreshing, as they say. Uh, just to me, they didn't really hit the, the dry hop note. Uh, it's, it's, it's a perfectly fine Berliner Weiss, uh, very nice and crisp and very carbonated. Uh, again, despite the, the relatively little bit of head, you, uh, 
agitated at all and you get it into your mouth and there's plenty of carbonation to be had. But um, again, pl plenty of uh, plenty of Berliner Weiss, uh, not so much on the dry hopping. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next beer. All right, I have the palate cleared out, ready for the next beer in this series, which is a collaboration with Kyuchi Brewery in Ibaraki, Japan. Hopefully I'm getting those pronounced right or close to right. Uh, Kyuchi Brewery, initially known for making sake, now they're known for the Hitachino Nest series of uh, beers. And they collabor collaborated with Sierra Nevada on this white IPA with yuzu. Initially yuzu, they also use coriander and nutmeg. And what they have to say is, Hitachino, ne Hitachino Nest's most popular beer is their white ale. So it was a natural starting point for this collaboration. We opted to add hops, as we are known to do, and made a white IPA based on the flavor profile of the white beer. Kyuchi suggested incorporating the use of the yuzu, a small Asian citrus fruit, into the brew, and we found the bright lime-like tartness perfectly accentuated the flavors of hops and the spicy notes of the classic whipped beer yeast. 7% ABV, 20 IBU, uh, yeast used, as I said, was Belgian whipped beer. Hops are Centennial, Comet, Citra, and Eureka. Malts are Pilsner, wheat, and unmalted wheat. And other ingredients used, as I said, yuzu fruit, coriander, and nutmeg. And one of these days, I will be able to properly pronounce Hitachino Nest. But today is not that day. That said, let's get to the beer. Okay. Uh, fairly similar in color to the last one, maybe just a hair darker, and I would say uh, almost perfectly see-through. Uh, the last beer, the Berliner Weiss, did not have much much cloudiness to it, but there was definitely a little something there. This is almost 100% clear. There's maybe just a very, very slight, very, very slight blockage to it. Uh, hold up to the light. It's... Again, as I said, it's a fairly similar color profile uh, to this beer. The edges are kind of the, the, the watered down, wheat color to it, like a watered down lemonade is one of my favorite descriptors right now. So, uh, but kind of a, still like a, a, a pale gold core to it that matches the flavor, or that matches the color rather, um, overall in normal light. Uh, Ted seems to be hanging around maybe just a little bit better than the last one. Uh, probably about a, still about a half inch worth um, even inside the the glass itself let's check it out hmm. Hmm. so I can't speak to have ever having had the the Hitachino nest white ale nor yuzu fruit uh, right now, what I'm kind of getting is a tale of the, the two beers of the collaboration. Mm -hmm. So even going a step further, the, the Belgian style white ale is very much kind of the bookmarks to a mildly bitter uh i hate to use the word weak weak is not the right word I, that's that's a poor choice of words but the the ipa qualities do not come through uh very powerfully there is a bitterness that's kind of starting to ramp up and is uh, somewhat evident in the uh aftertaste <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, it starts out being very Belgian and it finishes up being very Belgian. Uh, I'm not getting a whole a ton of citrus. Again, I don't really have a frame of reference on the yuzu fruit, uh, but I'm I don't feel like I'm getting a ton of uh, the citrus notes. To me, it's just kind of a, a, a just kind of a jumble, to be honest. Uh, maybe a little bit of a like a, a pine note to it, but 
And I, I'm, I'm get, getting plenty of the, the Belgian sugar, almost kind of bubblegummy sweetness to it. I'm um, again on the ends and that bitterness is ramping up, but I'm, I'm really struggling with the flavor profile on this one. Everything just uh, sort of blends together and uh, not for the better, frankly. And really not one of the, the, the top white IPAs I've had, in my opinion. So, um, But that is their, their collaboration with Kyuchi, the white, IB, white IPA with uh, Yuzu. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So, this one maybe not so much. Sorry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.